Do you ever long to return to the early days of your gaming career? Do you ever look back at the first time you defeated the final boss of your favorite game, or maybe the first time you prestiged in Call of Duty 4, and wish you could experience that feeling over again? It's a feeling you can never get back to later, no matter how many times a game gets remastered or recreated or copied. At the beginning of this quarantine, I was feeling the same way about Minecraft. I started playing Minecraft back in its beta 1.4 days, uh, back when I was in high school. And back in those early days, every world was a brand new experience, and every multiplayer server you join had its own community and its own style. I always really wanted to get deeply invested into these communities, but back in those days I was still in high school and only had a couple hours each day to play. But nonetheless, I loved checking out other people's multiplayer servers because I've always thought that multiplayer is the best way to experience Minecraft. At the time, one of my favorite types of server was the roleplay server. And no, I'm not talking about these weird modern Minecraft roleplay servers about high school life and e-dating. I'm talking about fantasy servers where I joined a town or faction and helped it grow by playing my part in that town. I leveled up my stats and I earned my place in that community. There were lots of fantasy Minecraft servers like this, but the one that I remember most fondly was actually a Fallout New Vegas themed roleplay server. One of my favorite memories from that time was I had just spawned in, gotten my bearings, left the spawn area, and I started walking down a deserted road. Desert on both sides of me, no plant life in, in sight. And I approached this camp filled with white tents and I saw one person in, in the camp and I discovered after talking to this person that he himself had founded the server's version of the followers of the apocalypse which if you played New Vegas you may remember that they're the humanitarian faction that um, just wants to help everyone. So this guy knowing that he's on a New Vegas roleplay server took it upon himself to start this faction and start trying to recruit people and help new players right outside of spawn. Well, I started talking to him for a bit and I move into one of the tents to start pulling things out of a chest that he was allowing me to have. And two other players that were role-playing as Kaisar's Legion strolled down the road and started questioning and harassing this follower of the apocalypse that was trying to help me. Now, I was brand new, no weapon, nothing. And I sneaked uh, to hide my nameplate. I was hiding in this tent. And I remember watching them just interrogate him and he didn't give me away or anything, but they forced him to go with him. And I'm assuming turned him into a slave for the next who knows how long. And once again, I was on my own in that server. And I just remember that scenario so well because that was a completely player-driven encounter with everyone playing a role and that sort of experience can't be found anywhere else in gaming still to this day besides maybe like maybe some GTA RP or some Sea of Thieves but Minecraft with the building aspect is definitely the most intense of that feeling. So, back to where I'm going with all this, and the reason I told you that story. Like many of you, I've been forced to stay inside a lot more. I told myself, you know what, I'm sick of these other games, I have some free time, I want to find a roleplay server to get invested in. On Minecraft, and I want to see if, if there's still servers out there that do the same things that I loved last time I experienced it, which was many years ago at this point, like eight years. So, I decided, alright, I'm going to fire up my Twitch stream. I said, hey, I'm going to be checking out this Minecraft roleplay server. If you've never seen anything like it and you're interested in checking it out, I'm going to be streaming. And then we discovered Lord of the Craft. Lord of the Craft is an old server. I actually remember reading about it back when I was in high school looking for these roleplay servers back then. I remember hearing about Lord of the Craft, but it was just a little bit too intense for me at the time. Well, this time I figured there's nothing better than this, and if this server's been around for eight years, it's got to be good. So I started the process of making my character and filling out my application. I created a wood elf named Contaris, and I had to create a skin that matched him. I couldn't just go in with my normal everyday Minecraft skin. I had to give him a backstory. Um, I had to show that I was good enough at 
speech and communication that I could roleplay effectively by giving them roleplay examples. And after a couple days, I did end up getting in after making a few tweaks to my application. I've streamed almost every time I've played the game since then, and the community has been nothing but amazing to me, very friendly, very helpful to someone who doesn't roleplay that often, and to someone who isn't super familiar with fantasy lore outside of like Skyrim and that sort of thing. I just want to use this video as a way to showcase that these types of servers do still exist, and they are damn good. I've made friends online, um, I've had some really unique lore experiences, I've learned a lot about this community. One of the first few times I was even on the server, we encountered a group of orcs that came into our town and I had just logged in as I see them strolling up. They surrounded one of my friends so I went over and tried to see what was up and while we were talking to some orcs that were trying to get us to come back with them to their town, we noticed other orcs in the background like grabbing some other citizens and kidnapping them. I've been playing on this server for about a month now, and so far I really have enjoyed my time. I've seen orcs kidnap people out of my town and I've chased after them to try to save them. I've been inducted into a clan. I've cooked meals and shared meals with multiple different races around a campfire. I participated in a PvP tournament. I've sparred with my friends. I've hunted down bison. I've done all kinds of things that wouldn't normally happen in any other game, and it, it was all done dynamically with other people online. And I just wanted to make this video to show that there are still servers like this out there that you know really appreciate a fully fledged role-playing experience. And um, I wanted to share some of these highlights with you. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm still playing Lord of the Craft every Thursday night on my Twitch stream, Fixer95. Link is in the description. If you'd like to come check out our antics as we explore the world, you're more than welcome to. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment telling me about your favorite Minecraft roleplay server. Thanks. Peace out, guys.